happened to be on board, and we, we're going to talk to Tony Arpino with Atlas Foundation right up front and start. So if you have a foundation situation, it's a good idea to listen. Tony, you on the line with us? Very good, very good, buddy. Uh, and the reason, the reason why we're trying to be a little picky is we're trying to keep your garden mama uh, customers with you Yeah, and, and talk about trees, because, it, because you and I know what happens when trees start drinking water around foundations. Well, you're already and confusing the people because here they think we're talking about foundations and all of a sudden you're bringing up trees. Trees drink water? <laughs> but, I'm sorry, and, talking, go ahead. And, and I'm, no, I'm I just quoted one the other day. I'm, I'm noticing those crepe myrtles have a life of their own, and, and so they'll be uh, near the corners of the house, uh, taking over the world. And uh, and, uh, and a lot of times you'll have a neighbor's tree that let's say is forty or sixty feet away, and the root systems, as I say, don't go under your your concrete slab house, but they can affect the moisture content. Uh, and, and what I call dry out the sponge under a brick home on a corner. And that's why most of the time in foundation repairs, it'll be a corner. Um, eight to 12 foot from the very corner will have a problem sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, say, you say, well, I'll say, do you have any trees? Oh, no, I don't have any trees. Well, your neighbor has a tree 40 feet away yeah. that's looking for water. Not many yeah. people think that a tree 40 feet away is going to be, make a difference in anything at all at, on their property. Right, and and sincerely, I've been doing this for about thirty-five years. I have a technical degree, as you know, but we'll we'll dig a little twelve-inch hole there on the corner, and really, you'll we'll find a root about the size of my arm. Wow! And, uh, and you're saying surely not from that tree forty or sixty feet away, and, um, and but that's that's the most productive water, and so it'll it'll pull in that corner a little bit and. And my claim to fame with Atlas, as you know, is to go deeper than the other methods so we can get beneath the root influence. We're not stopping the tree from drinking or the crate myrtles from drinking. Right. We're trying to beneath, be way beneath their influence to what we call bridge builder depths. Uh huh. And, and, and by doing this, you can actually control the, the level of the foundation a lot better. Right. Because I'm, I'm trying to go to to bridge builder depths, and uh-huh. I'll, I don't want to get specific of which which end of the state. Because I've, I've done work everywhere from Wiggins to Olive Branch and right. Tupelo. It's just right. so you have different soil types, uh, different parts of the state. Well, a little while ago, you called the soil a sponge. <laughs> well, that, that, that's that's the best way to explain it, folks. When, when the sponge takes on water during the winter months, uh-huh. it'll actually lift that corner. Yeah. And when the, when the sun and the rain and the trees uh, uh, dry out, that, that corner will dip down. And then it gets into a rocking mode, summertime, wintertime, summertime, winter, winter mode. And they'll say, people say, well, yeah, I saw that crack. It wasn't that bad three years ago. I said, I know. Sure. It's just trying to catch it before it agitates another room. Uh, those goes downstream, as I call it, well, and agitates somewhere else. Most people now, when they think about foundations, they they think, well, this is going to mean piles of dirt and big trucks and a lot of people digging under my house, and uh, I don't know. It's an awful lot to do. Uh, what, what, what's your take on that, Tony? Well, uh, yeah, who, who would want that? Me either. Um, <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> so uh, so uh, um, I have people who have been with me since 1985. And, and all my equipment is carried by two men. So that means I don't have to take down any fences. I don't have heavy loads. I don't have concrete trucks on the driveway, uh, you know, breaking up the driveway. Everything I need, uh, two men can carry. And we're used to being very portable, and um, especially on lake homes. Uh, anything around water or anywhere you have a wooden deck in the backyard or you, we don't have to take that deck off. We just take some slats out of the, out of the deck. And the same way if I'm working along a body of water, mm-hmm. then we can hand carry everything in the backyard on the water side wow. and, and, and and work through the wood deck, right. but yet still go ridge builder depths. And put that in English, folks, that means 25, 45 feet down in the ground or more. Um 
And you say, well, gee, why would you go those depths? And the question needs to be, why do bridge builders go those depths? Because it's goop all the way down. <laughs> yeah, so in yeah. other words, bridge builder depth is when you get to solid surface. Is that correct? Right. You're yes. going through and this, this uh, what you call sponge, which is actually uh, Mississippi mud, <laughs> gumbo, yes. if you will. Yes. Uh, and bridge builder depth, the depth is really where you hit a massive solid surface. Yes. We're trying to, we're trying to find in nature a sand or a gravel. Right. And, 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 we're, and that can handle my forces, but, but uh, silts and farmland and clays cannot. Now, and, uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't really something that happens nationally a whole lot. Now, I mean, there's specific areas where there's clay and there's there's uh, a spongy soil, if you will. But there's also places where there's pretty good soil to build on. Oh yes, yes. Uh, other parts of the country don't don't have these these problems. And remember, other parts of the countries have basements. Right. So right. so, but we're we're resting on top of. Uh, changing moisture contents, agitated by the trees looking for water, right. or, or or right or wrong uh, uh, drainage situations that were that were not all supposed to have. Yeah, yeah. Which, but um, but uh, and and speaking of that, uh, let me give you my eight hundred number before we. Uh, yeah. Uh, for our folks. Sure. Uh, I'm at eight hundred two five six. 10, 10, 800, 256, 10, 10. And then I look at every project uh, uh, personally, and I'm actually on every every job I just mentioned a while ago. Um, so so we, we try, and I do give phone quotes if someone can actually give me some dimensions of the area of concern. Right. Uh, and, um, and, and pictures and, help too, don't they? I mean, if you can get, whether you get email pictures or text pictures or whatever, that would help. Right. Well, and it's, it's basically, it's, it's, I'm just basically trying to find the, the affected area of movement. Yes. What that means is X and Y on the bricks. I'm trying to find how far that crack is going on the X wall and how far it's going on the Y wall and, right. and, um, and that situation. Um, yeah. And let me, as I've done with you before, buddy, is let me... Tell folks how, how simple the concept of foundation repair is, and why the repairs don't last many times that you and I talk about. Okay, um, it's like pulling a it's like driving a loaded log truck on a cotton field. All of us can go under the rear axle and put something under the rear axle and lift the logs. That's easy. The problem is keeping the logs in the air for about three year period. The, the weight of the logs will push the jack into the cotton field. Wow. And so the, the public gets hung up on the lift, but not to stay. And, um, and especially if they've been abused by someone giving them a lifetime warranty, so they assume it's going to last. And firms like that will, you, as you know, buddy, will continue to either leave, leave the area or change phone numbers or change the name of the business, or there's no factory backup. Right. I have a I have a three O. I have a thirty year factory back backup from a one billion dollar company. So, so so when you uh, you do a project on a foundation project, uh, the thirty year warranty that or the warranty that comes with it is it through uh, Atlas Foundation or through the company that provides the material? Uh, both. Um, okay, both. What it what it is? I have a. 3-0 on material from the factory. Sure. And then I give a 10-year from me right. that it won't go down, won't fail. Wow. The build, the building weight won't push the repair in the ground. And, and that's kind of what goes on with those, uh, you and I have talked about folks putting little blocks of concrete under under things, and and um, the, the building weight will, will fail the repair. And okay. uh, that, uh, buddy, what's my joke? That's why we quit building houses off the ground. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because the, the building weight pushes the repair on the ground. Uh, and so, so, so. It's unbelievable. The, the soil in Mississippi is definitely, definitely unique, and we do have a lot of settling, and it, it just 
really is a hassle. But let's say somebody's interested and they want to find out more about their foundation. Um, will you talk to them on the phone about their oh, situation? Sure. sure. If, if, and I just need some, a lot of times some dimensions. Uh, this corner problem is 12 foot by 16 foot, and we can plot out over the phone. And I usually know my depths in, in that area of the state. And uh, Right. And uh, and then, as we've talked earlier, mature mature trees will drink about six o sixty gallons a day. Wow! And yet, and yet, it has to compete <laughs> with the other other trees around it. Yeah. And um, and uh, and and some of my some of, one of my uh, media uh, commercials says, "Preserve the trees through greater depths. Preserve the trees." To greater depth. So what I'm trying to do is keep folks trees, and 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 support beneath their influence. Right. And and so if somebody says, "Well, go rip out those trees," uh, and, and a lot of foundation people will say that to folks. And uh, I said, "Well, why, why would you why would you lose values? Trees have economic value. Why would you lose economic value in your in your property? Right. Off of what a foundation guy says. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, well, the, uh, go ahead. Uh, we we also do some seawall erosion. Also, I've done some on the reservoir. Really, uh, I've got two hundred foot long hoses, and we've done some crazy things and uh, uh, with some different product lines that I have, machines I have, and uh, and, and that's the same principle where we're trying to keep the machine on the street and uh, and run these two hundred foot hoses down to uh, either. Uh, avoid fill or I've got to go under a pool deck in the next few days where where you can almost crawl under it. Um, uh, so it's we're trying to avoid fill that and yet not make a mess um, and work through a seri- sure. series of three eighths three eighths drills. Yeah. Um is there I mean granted the soil here in Mississippi is somewhat unique because we are basically spongy uh, and it does absorb and it does not absorb sometimes uh, my question is is there anything that can be done about putting in a new foundation where you all of a sudden use your process to make sure that it doesn't move later is that is that something that's uh, it's a reality or, or, or not I started off in in '84 doing brand new foundations, uh-huh. uh, and that's that's like pulling teeth, buddy. Uh, once once good folks have got eight bidders, right, who want to build their house, you know sure. that's, that's oh, yeah. very tough to do. That's why I bought the Atlas licensee in '88, right, to get folks a second time around, um, uh, because it's it, 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 things can be built strong enough, but can the public understand? And or the builder, why we're asking for what we're asking, right? And, um, and a lot of times, somebody in that chain, whether it be the builder or the person having the house built for them, balks about the, the, the dollars and cents. <laughs> right. Remember, I picked at you that I took my structural soils under a Vicksburg kernel. You right. know, so it's just uh, so I'm, I've been trained in, in, in structural soils and just um, and so there's just more to it. And so when I would visit with the with the carpenter of, of the world, and they'd say, well, I've been building houses for 30 years. I said, I know. And who's this college boy telling me what to do, you know? <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> yeah, what's with so, you anyway? <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine the fun we have. Uh, uh, well, I, I imagine. Uh, uh, and I, I, I get a lot of calls asking about foundations, and, and, and the ones that seem like they're really serious, I will refer to, to you. Of course, I refer them all to you, any foundation repair, where they call you or not, I don't know, or where they get in touch. They should. But, um, and, and remember times, it, we don't have to go all the way around these houses. A lot of firms want to go all the way around. I just want to get the worst corner. Right. And let's say in two years from now, we'll get another corner. Right. Um, we, we're trying to do the least we can do, not the most we can do. Yes. So we're trying. If we can solve that the problem um, early on the worst corner, then then by then I will know my depths under that property. I'll know whether I'm 25 feet down or 75 feet down. I'll know a lot of data when I go to the second corner uh, a couple of years down the road. Is there um, is there a chance that that once you fix a corner that the problem is taken care of forever? 
on that corner. Yes. Uh, but but we're trying to uh, stop that corner from agitating something else downstream to the next room over. I got you. I got you. So. And because uh, 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 I used to have a joke years ago, and I'd say, "Ma'am, I know it's the same address, but it's the same house." You know, um, but uh, because they'll say, "Well, you you told me before I needed four supports. Well, now I need six. You say the house will change because they it's festered longer. Right, right. And um, and they can't understand that. Uh, but um, and so we're trying to kind of catch folks at an early stage. Sure. Without without making a mess on people's property. All right, well, we're on a short on time. Why don't we give out, give out your number where people can get to you? And tell me about estimates. If you were to go to the job and actually do an estimate, what, what are we looking at? Uh, in time. And, and, you know, when can you do that? And, and how, is there a cost involved? No, no, no. No, I'm, I, I've never, never charged for estimates. Good. And as, as long as someone can give me some, some data, some uh, data over the phone or whatever. Yeah, most times you uh, have let to go let me give you that 800 number again. Yeah, please do. Uh, 800-256-1010. 800-256-1010. And then um, when we visit on the phone, I can give them um, a Google address for my television commercial that runs. And they can see the uh, the face that goes with this voice. Well, good. And, and in, my, in my TV commercial, I'm holding up a failed repair in my hands. And addressing about trees and the influence of trees has on foundations. Yeah. All right. Well, we about run out of time, and I thank you for your time you spent with us. And I hope that your phone just rings off the hook. Atlas Foundation, great company. Love to see them around. Thank you, Tony. See you later.